Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day one of the August Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I'm going to be doing this all month, so, you know, do it with me. And let's do it together. I haven't, I think I'm on, um, let's see, 12, eh, 15 or 16 month streaks. So, you know, let's keep going. Anyway, today's problem is making a large island. So I'm going to do this live, so if it's a little bit slow or or whatever, just watch it 2x, 2x skip forward, whatever you need to do, because I am doing this live. So, okay, so you give an n by n grid, you can change 1, 0 to 1, return to the size of the largest island in grid after applying this operation. Okay. Um, this is an annoying problem, but... But this is going to be a connectivity problem. If you do this naively, where you do you change every element, knowing that n one side is going to be five hundred, so five hundred squared, and then that square, so five hundred to the cube is going to be too slow. So you want something that lets you do this in uh, n square, where n is the number of sides, or something like that. And I think the for connectivity, so the thing that you would think about is either first by first search, step first search. Both of them, I don't think it's going to be. Hmm. Yeah, both of them, I don't think it's going to be Gucci. And then in that case, it's going to be. Uh, what, connected components. But, oh, uh, sorry. Union fine for connected components. I think it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I think. Uh, if you do breakfast search and deficit search naively by changing every zero to a one, then yes, that's going to be the case. But we can actually do a bit of a hack, right? Um, we can not a hack, but you can solve it another way, which is that we we can uh, do a connect the components on on the grid, so count all the islands, and then for each zero, we just look up, down, left, right, and then do a set sum of the islands. And I think that should be good enough. And what I mean by that is if you go up and then to the left and it's, and these two things are the, the same island, then you don't add them twice. So as long as you're be, being careful about stuff like this, I think that should be okay. So let's get started. Let's, let's just do first by start doing, um, you can do this either using a depth first search or breath first search. I don't think that, that matters. Um, but yeah, but basically first I'm going to color the grid. Um, yeah, I'm going to color the grid into basically with a depth first search. Uh, you could do, it with, I think very often I actually do this with a breath first search, but uh, let's try something new today. I, maybe I go back and forth. It really depends, to be honest, on how I do it. So here, let's just say negative one. For rage, for rage. Okay, and then now we just do that first. Search, uh, X, Y, and then the color, right? And then if colors of X, Y is equal to color, then we return because we already changed the color. If this is equal to one, we return. Otherwise. Oh, sorry, if this is equal to zero, we return. Otherwise, we set this equal to color. And then we have a directions. This is just, you know, a standard thing. I mean, I say it is a standard, but this is basically, um, that's how I always write it, because it's easier to write. You can also just write two for loops, to be honest. Um, but it wouldn't matter. So the way that I do it is that it is like two for loops into one array. So I just do something like this. And then, you know, this is just delta x, delta y, and then we check that. And actually, rows is equal to columns, but I very often would just do the same thing anyway, because why not? And colors of x, y is equal to 1. Uh, oh. I guess actually, yeah. I actually meant this to be grid, not colors. So we want to make sure that the grid of x, y is equal to 1 before we go. Then otherwise, we just do this and then color. Yeah, and then that should be good, I think. 
So let's just start by, you know, current color is equal to zero. Do we want zero? Let's just do one. Why not? Let's start with one so we, it's less confusing. Rows for y in range of columns. If grid of xy is equal to one and colors of xy is equal to negative one, that means that we have to start coloring it. Then we color xy and then the current color and then we increment the color okay let's just kind of see how this go first is, is this we expect it all right zero so this is one two because there are two colors so that's good let's let's also take this time to copy on more test cases i would say also this it's a way it's a problem that is on a difficulty that is on an interview, so definitely be sure to feel familiar with this, get practice and so forth. Um, yeah, okay, so this looks good. These are the same color, everything is the same color, okay. And then now we just have to count the colors and the buckets. So you have done this with all these colors. Yeah, let's do that here. I think that should be good. Mm, color count. Let's just let's just do a counter. Too lazy to. I mean, you could put in an array and then modify the size of that array, but but this is fine as well. Yeah. So then now let's just print out color count counter. Is it color counter or color count? Okay, color count, color clue 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 color count. Okay, so this looks good so far. So then now we just have to go through, um, you know, each way again. This time looking at the zeros. Oh yeah, um, the largest item. So let's actually get the largest item so far. Our item is just max of color count that value. Ooh, color counter again. Values. Um, yeah, and though there's no colors, this may fail, so we should double check that. Yeah, because if you have, for example, I think this will give you a max cannot take something, something value, whatever it's called. Uh, okay, it will also give you a thing if you didn't finish this, so. Too soon, too soon. Yeah, see? Uh, so we could just do this plus zero, say. So this is just two arrays. Um, I think that it's a little bit weird, but I think that should should be okay. So that the answer is zero otherwise. Oh, mm -hmm. oh dictate values is not a list. Hmm. I guess that's like an in, uh, another type, but okay, fine. This is very yucky now, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't crash, so that's probably good enough. Okay, now let's go back to here. If the grid, if this is zero, then we can use this as a possible addition. So then now we want to look at all four directions, directions we have here. So let's do that. So for dx, d, y in directions, and x and y, same logic here which is that if this is a one then we want to add this current number to the thing mm, we're gonna uh, let's just say use is equal to set i'm a little bit um let's actually put this here instead so then now we have to get the color right so so the n the color of nx and y is not in use. That means that we haven't used this color yet. Otherwise, we want to use this color. Uh, this is so basically we dedupe, right? You don't want to add the same color multiple times. Hope that makes sense. And then count is equal to this plus uh, the count of the color. I keep on writing color counter. Hmm. No, it's a counter though, but 
and then at the very end we do max is equal to max of max cam and then we just return pass that should be good let's give it a spin one three four ooh well okay hmm that's weird isn't it maybe no hmm well gives us an opportunity to oh I see because I don't add the zero that I add so okay so given that this is zero this is this so this starts at one but I don't know if that solves it because I think this answer is still wrong uh, why is this do 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 so this is used da 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 hmm that's weird okay let's take a look at the debugging actually mostly confident about this one but <laughs> clearly sometimes confidence don't matter all right zero one why is this one did I make, make a typo somewhere oh yeah I did this is NX NY did I have it right here no I have it wrong here too so yeah wow huh mistakes were made uh, oh yeah this color what is the color Ooh, colors of NX NY okay So like I said, typo aside, this should be okay. So let's give it a submit. I think I got most of the edge cases, just some these, the one that was adding this one, actually a good one, but yeah, I think we're okay. So let's give it a submit. Hopefully we're good. Hmm, a little bit slow though, okay, yeah, okay. So it's accepted. So what's the complexity, right? Uh, with, with this depth of search, um, you can see that even though this depth of search goes with this, these two for loops, and there are a lot of for loops here, um, you can see that each cell can only be colored once, and because each cell can only be colored once, we only look at each cell constant number of times, so so that's going to be O of n squared, where n is the size of the length, and n squared is the size of the input, so this is going to be linear time uh, for this, this depth of search, right? Uh, and then here, this is also linear time because as for x times y, we do this thing. And this is only, you know, direction is 4. So we only do 4 lookup. Set only has only up to 4 items, and this is all of 1. So this is going to be all of n squared, which is linear time. Because linear, because the size of the input is n squared, so n squared is linear time. So this is all of n squared. Um, in terms of space, uh, well, the way that I did it, we did we select a color because we don't want to modify it. I know that probably in the form of something, someone makes a comment about, um, you know, you use the grid so you don't have to use the extra space. But even in that case, your depth first search or your breadth first search is going to be, you know, in theory, it can go all through the entire matrix. So it's going to be n squared, which is, a, again, linear time. So this is going to be linear, uh, oh, sorry, linear space. So this is going to be a linear time, linear space algorithm. Uh, and what I mean by that is n squared time, n squared space, just to be clear. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all I have. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Again, if you're doing this for uh, August, come hang out. Come on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you later. Good mental health. Bye-bye.